Alright, what is going on everybody? It is Tristan and today, as you guys can see, I'm here with the screen recording. And first thing is first, we're going to be discussing some shoes you can hold right now that will make you some money. I noticed these are videos uh, that you guys are always kind of asking for more on the channel, the ones that do, do better, I guess, if you want to put it like that. But also just mainly, like, this is what you guys are here for, so we're going to be discussing it. And just some recent sneaker releases again, some shoes that just dropped or kind of, you know, got, I've gotten like, you know, are kind of lower in value. But pretty much all these have dropped within this week, so we're going to be discussing them. So again, if you guys want more sneaker investment videos just subscribe and like down below I'm not really going to leave a like or anything on this video just you know the more likes we get you know the more it helps the channel so i'd appreciate that and you know that's really all i gotta say leave any questions comments i guess concerns if you have them leave them down below and uh yeah i guess my instagram's all that are in the description they're just on the screen my discord too if you want to join that but i'll just kind of hop into it so first things first the nike dunk low dusty olive now i immediately knew this was kind of like a shoe to kind of have your eyes on i've been discussing it you can go watch my how to cop video on it i was discussing how uh you know when it was when i was mentioning kind of as if the shoe was a sell or hold I was saying you could just sell it right now because it may not rise as much as we think, but it's also a really good shoe because I like the fall colors and it's another suede dunk. It's completely suede. So, I mean, when you see that, those are the kind of dunks that people are always going crazy for. And another main thing that really makes the shoe, it, it kind of gave me some attention on it, is it dropped on the 17th, which is right here. Uh, and it hasn't dropped in price at all. After the US release, it didn't drop. It, it hasn't dropped at all. Not a single dollar. So, if you notice what also happened with the UK release on the shoe since it dropped already overseas before, it also didn't drop at all uh, in value when it released. And then it went up like 50 bucks. So just keep that in mind. After this US release, it's following the same pattern as the UK release uh, where basically it didn't drop and then it went up. And right now the US portion is at where it's not dropping at all after the release. So it could be a very short uh, short amount of time when when. I'm leaving that stutter in there because I don't know why I do that sometimes. It's just because I'm early in the morning filming a video here. I got up wanting to film something, but uh, it's just following that exact same pattern. So it's something to keep an eye on, definitely. I'd say if I had to put this sneaker investment on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd probably put it as a 7 or 8 because I'm pretty confident in it considering the last two pairs of suede dunks I invested in. Everybody was telling me, no, I'll see you in April. They were like joking at me. And uh, I, those ended up being some of my best sneaker investments after everyone was telling me they weren't. And those were the veneers and the ceramic dunk lows. And although this sneaker isn't part of the Ugly Duckling pack, which includes the Plum Dunks, Ceramic Dunks, and the Veneer Dunks, it looks like it could be. And I mean, the or it fits. It's not necessarily an ugly shoe. I personally like how this looks. Uh, so yeah, honest answer. I've seen the in-hand pictures too. I just, you know, I think there's at least another 50 to $100 on the shoe. I could easily see the shoe being at like 350 380 So I mean, I could say like there's another 50 80 bucks a pair, of course. Uh, the best sizes to invest in. I mean, if you want to see something that proves that this sneaker is enough in the investment, just go look at any shoe in a size 11 and a half because 11 and a half is like always the size that kind of tells you uh, if your shoe is going to go up. I mean, just look at this. I mean, it's kind of, it hasn't even dropped like that after the US release. So I just would say give this one time. Another example is like go look at the University Blue Jordan 1. I got a size 11 and a half in those and I'm super happy about that dead stock. I paid like 350 for those and they're already on the rise. So yeah, that's just like, that's my favorite size to hold, just to, I guess, say something. But talking about this for way too long, just really want to explain it in detail why you should hold it. So Dusty Olive Dunk Low, just, I wouldn't miss out on it. I really wouldn't. I think there's a, I mean, it's a good looking shoe. And last way, Dunks did great. So it's a, I mean, just maybe get a pair or two, see what happens. I can guarantee you though, for whatever you buy for, you won't lose money. Even if it doesn't rise, it is, it's is—it's not going down. <laughs> so another one I want to discuss, the Jordan 1 Mid Tropical Twist Igloo. Now, I want to say shout out Secret Sauce for giving me the advice and kind of the heads up on this hold. I didn't realize how good of an opportunity this shoe is. This could easily go up to 150 probably $200, maybe even more than that, considering that this Tropical Twist, they call it the Tropical Twist Igloo. I would just call it the Jordan 1 Mid Igloo. And personally, go invest in the grade school sizes since they're so low in value right now. I mean, they're all under $100 right now for a grade school pair. I mean, if you're talking about a cheap sneaker investment, here you go. This is, the, I mean, this is it. Uh, and yeah, I mean, it's just like since it just re-released or I, th I think it actually just released if I'm correct. Uh, or yeah, something just happened where it re-released. I believe, but I mean, this shoe has, I mean, it's not really, I mean, it's been dropping, but it's not going to drop any lower in my opinion, since it's already below a hundred dollars, which is pretty much near the retail if I'm correct, since I think retail on these is like, yeah, $90. So I'd say just get your pairs now since they're pretty much at retail. And if you want to know why I think this shoe is such a good hold and kind of, I looked into secret sauce, like, and they're kind of explaining of it. They said that it's because it's based off the Jordan one retro high igloo, which if you see how much this shoe is going for, uh, then yeah, you would obviously be like, okay. 
uh, I'm going to go get my pairs of the mid version because, I mean, the, for example, the Jordan 1 mid band, the Jordan 1 band goes for like $660, $700, right? Uh, or no, those go for way more than that. I'm, I'm tweaking, but just keeping in mind that now the Jordan 1 mid band goes for around $200 and those pairs have been rising. So considering that this one is based off of Jordan 1 that is worth even more than the Jordan 1 mid band, I mean, yeah, these could definitely be that those pairs that are going for like, you know, in grade school. I mean, if you buy them now, they're under 100. They'll at least go up to like 130, 150. So you'll make some money. This this is kind of one of those ones where since it's cheap, you go get bulk pairs. Honestly, if anybody's got pairs of these, I'm, I'm buying them. So just hit me up. Uh, seriously, I need, I'm gonna need like five of these cause I know it's only going to cost me like five, like $450, $500 to get like five pairs. So yeah, just buy them for under a hundred dollars. That's my recommendation right now. And, uh, hold them for one year, one year. Don't sell it any earlier than that. Just hold them for a year out. Cause that, that's just my recommendation. The longer hold, but it'll, it'll profit you more. Obviously with sneaker investing, the longer you hold a shoe, uh, the more money, the more money you make off it. I mean, that's with any investment, just longer term, more money, shorter term, shorter money weird saying but a final one i want to mention right here and i definitely wanted to put this one right here is the jordan one or i don't even know how i thought that was a jordan one but the yeezy boost 350 the mono isis these ones just dropped and they're about to drop again tomorrow on yeezy supply of course your boy's gonna or no these dropped on the 18th i'm tripping they're dropping on confirmed tomorrow or something i yeah something like that i'm pretty sure these have all released i might be thinking about the slides have these all released i think all the pairs of these have released yeah they dropped on the 18th i'm tripping i'm i'm thinking about the uh, orange easy slides and those that restock going on tomorrow that they've been doing every couple months but this one right here invest only in the base sizes not in a regular size don't invest if you have bigger than a size uh seven do not hold your pair four through seven is the pairs to hold those base sizes those smaller sizes uh the reason for that is because most 350s this one's an especially clean pair a lot of people really like this one and honestly uh, those smaller sizes in Yeezy 350s have always been decent holds and this is another one of those It's kind of that summer theme summer color the average shoe, you know Most shoes take like three four months to start going up in value That's at least what since I've been here That's what I've noticed a lot of my investments don't go up in like two three months Some do and some go up in a couple weeks, maybe even a couple days But most of the time it's around three four months where I start making some money So that's why I buy a bunch of shoes uh, Over the summer before I go to college and then I just leave them here so I can't sell them while I'm at college and then I have to come back over, you know, five, six months later, whenever they're worth a ton more. Because I know me, myself, if I had access to them, I'd probably sell them earlier. But I'd leave them away for myself from like for like five, six months. And then I come home and sell them and make way more than I would if I'd sold them earlier. So that's kind of my, I guess, tip. Quick, quick holding tip, you know, if you're in college, just leave them at your house. Order the investments to your house. Just don't. You can, you can keep them in hand or whatever. I, I, I was, you know, diligent enough to not sell them when I had, in, had them in hand. But that's just kind of how it is. But this one, sizes four through seven. Uh, you can go look at any, a lot of those past 350s and kind of those base sizes. They've been rising pretty good. And I wouldn't say to hold Yeezys, usually it's pretty risky. But for this one, I mean, it, it's actually a pretty clean pair of shoes. I actually like how this one looks. I'm not even a 350 fan. And I got to say, I like the colorway. I, I, I kind of, it's an interesting design. So Kanye, you know, shout out you again. If you were, I mean, of course you were the one that designed this. But uh, yeah, you know, just those base sizes, definitely kind of a good move. I'll, I'll try and find an example here. Let me see if I can just click and find one. So uh, for example, let's just go look at, okay, this is not even a good example to look at, but let's just go look at this one, the Yeezy Earth, right? And in those base sizes, okay, let's go look at a size six. Yeah, base sizes for Yeezys. You see these? These are not even that. And bro, these look like poop. If you own a pair, I don't, I'm not, I don't care. Like, you know, no offense, but bro, bro, just hold it. Just hold it. All right. That's all I need to say. Hold, please do not sell these in base sizes. Do not do it. If you have a size four through seven, please do not do it. Don't, 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 don't. Okay. Don't do it. All right. Cool. All right. That's all I'm going to say. Please do not do it. But yeah, that's really everything needs to be said. Those are all the investments. Sizes four through seven for this one. Any size, just grade school. And uh, yeah, Dusty Olive. I mean, it's looking great in my opinion since it hasn't dropped at all after the US release. Last time a shoe didn't drop after the US release at all in price, I think that was the Jordan 1 Mocha. I mean, there's probably been other ones I've missed, plenty of them probably, but the last one that I remember that didn't drop at all after the release was the Jordan 1 Mocha, and it just stayed flat for a couple days, and then, yeah, you see all that happened there. So, that's all that needs to be said. I'm just going to kind of head into the outro right now. So, if you guys want more content like this, of course, I can hit you guys with more videos. So, just subscribe and like for more videos like this. Road to 50K, don't forget, of course, at 50K, we're going to have a giveaway, so just stay tuned for that. And uh, I think in the next couple of days, I'm going to have a mystery box. So just stay tuned for that. I think I'm getting that one shipped uh, over. So just stay tuned there. 
And uh, yeah, shipped over on Monday. So, you know, sometime during this week, we'll have a mystery box video. And also, I'm having a couple cool collabs coming with some companies. So, just stay tuned there. Some cool cool opportunities for y'all. I think you guys are really going to like it. Like, there's some, an opportunity I have coming up with uh, a company that, like, offers legit items under market. And it's like a membership thing. But I'll explain it all once, you know, that is, you know, official and all that. I'm pretty excited for that video. And uh, yeah, you know, just check my IG's Discord down below. Any of it will be there. So, I'm in the screen recording. I'm Tristan. Thank you all for watching, as always. And uh, yeah, 50,000 soon. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. <laughs>